Thanos is powerful, violent, and got the nickname the Mad Titan for a reason. But behind his blue skin, the cosmic being is hiding a lot of secrets. Secrets that Marvel will probably keep out of Avengers Infinity War and future movies. Learn the deep truth of Thanos and ways his character has developed over the years. Before you reveal Thanos' secrets though, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new CBR content. He invented a girlfriend. The Infinity Gauntlet is one of the most powerful weapons in the Marvel Universe. Thanos killed billions of people with the snap of his fingers, turned Wolverine into a pile of rubber, and has changed elements of time and space with ease. On a more personal level, Thanos also used the Infinity Gauntlet to make himself a girlfriend. That's right. While world domination may be his thing, breaking the ice with a female is a little more challenging for the Mad Titan. The odd thing about Thanos' choice of a partner in crime and love is the look of the character. Officially named Taraxia, the evil being is basically a female counterpart of Thanos. He made someone to fall in love with and it was a gender swapping mirror image. Of course, the ever smart Thanos had his heart broken in the past, so he gave Taraxia some weaknesses which allowed him to girl her off at any point he chose. So much for true love and long-lasting companionship. There's no word on Taraxia in the MCU, but it's likely she's on the cutting room floor. The decision may be a good thing for the new Spider-Man because Taraxia kills him during the Infinity Gauntlet series. Have a holly jolly Christmas, it's the best time of the year. A holly jolly Thanos. Thanos is as evil as they come. He kills without a second thought, invades planets, and has little sympathy. Even when it comes to his own children, Thanos has battled them, outcasted them, and even sold them as slaves. Just watch Guardians of the Galaxy to see how Gamora Nebula turned out after being sold off to Ronan. Gamora may hate her father and everything he stands for, but the expert assassin wasn't raised all wrong by the Mad Titan. As revealed in the second Marvel Holiday Special, Thanos paid particular attention to Gamora during the holiday season. Season. He wanted her to understand the normalcy of the holidays and often presented the child with a variety of Christmas presents. One year, Gamora received a baby doll. She loved the doll and traditions, but an attack on Thanos forced her to save her father by throwing the doll at the assassin's head and allowing Thanos to kill him off. So much for creating a normal childhood. The rare moments of bonding didn't last long as Thanos found weakness in Gamora's sentimental value she held over the doll. Star-Lord may have his Walkman, but Gamora's doll can make an impactful connection to Thanos in the Infinity War. Thanos' DC Origins Thanos has been built up as a Marvel powerhouse and one of the most feared villains in the MCU. Marvel would be pretty embarrassed if a majority of fans knew the character was actually based off of DC Origins. Comic book ripoffs are nothing new. A lot of heroes have similar powers and were created as counterparts in their universes. Just take a look at Hawkeye and the Green Arrow or Doctor Strange compared to Doctor Fate. One of the craziest parts about the origins of Thanos is the writers actually admitted to finding inspiration to directly from DC Comics. Thanos creator Jim Starlin actually created the character three years after DC Comics introduced the supervillain known as Darkseid. Thanos has similar looks and designs to Darkseid, but he is not the only character Starlin found inspiration from. A little known DC villain known as Metron was also used as Thanos' inspiration. More than just the look, Metron's personality, actions, and history were all used to shape the Thanos that we know today and will see on the big screen. As the DCEU still tries to find balance in the cinematic universe, Thanos laughs in their face, even though he's basically a one big DC ripoff. <laughs> you frizzle the fur! No one frizzles the fur! The Shocking Death in the Avengers Infinity War, Thanos is set to take on the best of the best in Marvel heroes. There's Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the Black Panther, among others. While all of these heroes team up to take on Thanos, it would be pretty embarrassing if Marvel revealed the actual hero who can take the Mad Titan down. In the special days of Xmas past comic, none other than Squirrel Girl comes to the rescue to defeat Thanos. How could a girl and a bunch of squirrels defeat this supervillain? We may never know. Her story picks up in the moments after Thanos' defeat. 
Squirrel Girl proudly stands over Thanos' unconscious body. We can only imagine how the battle played out. Thanos attempts to use the Infinity Gauntlet only to be thwarted when Squirrel Girl sends her squirrels to pluck away the Infinity Stones like a collection of acorns. From there, it's easy peasy as Squirrel Girl conquers the Mad Titan and makes a fool out of every hero who attempted the same task before her. The comic panel may be quick, but it's a fun story and probably something the MCU will never showcase or recognize as they try to build Thanos up as the greatest villain of all time. What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Why are we dancing? Hmm, you fled out, my love, and now we're together. Thanos and Deadpool's Rivalry Thanos has had many rivals over the years. Many may consider his feud with Drax the Destroyer one of the more personal after Thanos killed Drax's whole family, but there's also an argument to be made for Deadpool. Even though Deadpool is not an official part of the MCU, Yet, his comic book feud with Thanos dates back several years. One of the main things pitting Thanos and Deadpool against one another is a love triangle involving Lady Death. Both characters do anything they can to impress her, which mostly consists of killing. During their attempts at love, the characters have crossed paths several times, and the result included some pretty violent fights. The two characters starred in their miniseries entitled Deadpool vs. Thanos. At one point, Thanos had completely crushed Deadpool and left the character to rot, until Lady Death made him bring him back to life and reverse the damage that he caused. Now that Disney owns 20th Century Fox, Deadpool could enter the fray in the war against Thanos and make things a little more personal between the two characters. The closest connection between the two actors right now is actually the actor who played Thanos. Josh Brolin not only plays Thanos in Infinity War, but he also plays Cable in Deadpool 2. What a weird, weird connection. The Thanos Copter the MCU is filled with all kinds of unique vehicles. There's the Wakanda ship, Star-Lord ship named the Milano, and Captain America's Harley Davidson. One vehicle that you won't see in the MCU? The Thanos Copter. Yes, the cosmic being who travels multiple universes needed to navigate his way around Earth using a small one-person helicopter with his name imprinted on the side. The absurd creation has become comic book lore and one of the oddest moments in the supervillain's long history. Originally published in 1979, the issue of Spidey Super Storm stories really took a lot of liberties with the Thanos character. He comes off as a bumbling fool, delivers a lot of corny puns, and chases a young boy on a skateboard who doesn't seem frightened at all over Thanos' presence. In the end, Thanos is oddly taken away in handcuffs and seemingly brought to jail without putting up a fight. Spider-Man and the cat save the day while we assume the Thanos copter was impounded somewhere. Fans of the Thanos copter get to enjoy the machine even further by playing the LEGO Marvel Avengers game. The copter is one of the vehicles that can be unlocked and used, just don't expect it to be shown in a movie anytime soon. Mother Issues The evil nature of Thanos can be traced all the way back to his birth and the horrible start to life that Thanos had to endure. As soon as he was born, Thanos had blue skin, dark eyes, and deformities due to a condition known as Deviant Syndrome. The look of the baby was startling to many, including Thanos' own parents, and especially his mother, Suisan. Suisan couldn't accept the fact that Thanos was her son. When she looked into his baby eyes, the only thing she saw was evil. Within hours after Thanos was born, his own mother attempted to kill the baby using a surgical knife at the hospital. Suisan was stopped by Thanos' father, but the young child would grow up with a lot of isolation and resentment to his mother's treatment. After the horrible childhood, it only makes sense that Thanos set out to kill his own mother, and he succeeded in doing to her what she was stopped from doing to him. The Infinity War probably won't dive too deep into his childhood, as the goal is to make Thanos look and feel evil without making him seem too sympathetic for the horrible start of life that he had. You look just like, except, except you, got you got a little, little more, less. and a little, little less. More. God, I feel, I feel so over. 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 Welcome to my home, brother. A Lost Brother The Avengers Infinity War is set to feature dozens of Marvel heroes all in one movie, but one of the key heroes involved in Thanos' life will not be there. Thanos' own brother, Eros, has been intertwined in several of his stories and had a lengthy comic book career of his own. Eros is actually a hero rather than a villain, and known as Star Fox in his hero form. Do a barrel roll. 
The two characters couldn't be more polar opposite from one another. Eros has the ability to manipulate the mind and emotions of others. And along with saving heroes, Eros often uses his powers to hook up with random girls, including She-Hulk. Showcasing a womanizer like that on the big screen probably wouldn't be the smartest move by the MCU. But they could definitely clean him up a bit so the character's forceful actions on women are not as harsh as they seem. A little sibling rivalry could go a long way in adding some drama to Infinity War and introducing another hero hero to root for. With so much crammed in already though, the MCU doesn't really have room for Star Fox at this point, and Thanos' sibling will likely be ignored in the long run. I think I might be nobody. Wow! The insecurity level with you guys is ridiculous! Insecurity Issues Thanos may come across as tough, powerful, and without remorse, but one of the biggest weaknesses the supervillain has is his own insecurity. Thanos has the ability to destroy everyone and get away with his evil plots every single time, but he often stops himself from getting the task done. Thanos' insecurity stems directly from his childhood and his on-again, off-again relationship with Lady Death. Thanos is constantly seeking approval, doubts his own powers, and lacks the full confidence to get the job done. In the original Infinity Gauntlet comic book series, the insecurity of Thanos leads to his big downfall. His daughter Nebula is able to obtain the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos and uses it to place the villain within a stone trap. Mistakes like this have happened time and time again to the Mad Titan. Anyone battling against him needs to be aware of the mistakes he causes and wait for an opening before attacking. The insecurity of Thanos may not come across right away in Infinity War. The character is getting his big introduction and a majority of time will showcase his pure destructive power while battling foes. Basically, there's no time for mistakes, especially as he gathers stones and builds the gauntlet for his own needs. The army? Yes, a clone army. And I must say, one of the finest we've ever created. The Thanos Clones As Thanos plans his attack on Earth and to the Avengers, he's not going in alone. Along for the ride will be some of his many children, but he didn't have to rely on just his kin to help out with things. In the comic books, Thanos used the Infinity Gauntlet to create his own set of clones known as the Thanosi. Each clone had the basic look of Thanos, but featured special attributes to help them stand out. For example, the clone known as Omega has the looks of Thanos mixed with Galactus. He also features increased strength, in fact, double that of Galactus's own strength. The massive warrior combines Thanos with Gladiator to form the imposing villain. Other clones include X and Armor. Armor has similar features to Iron Man, while X features powers similar to Professor X. The whole group causes a whole bunch of destruction, but ultimately their bid to overtake Thanos and become the true leader causes the downfall of each Thanosi. Adding the characters to the MCU in the current state wouldn't really fit well with the story. We still need to get to know Thanos on the big screen before we start meeting all of his clones. And there you have it! What fact surprised you the most? What type of Thanos do you want to see on the big screen? Is it time to see the Thanos copter in action? Let us know in the comment section below! Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to CBR on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. Thanks for watching!